What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What is poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda, guys. I am so excited to finally be back in the salon. This was literally the longest week and a half of my life. And I planned to do a story time on my accident, but guys, I was just so busy and like also kind of just looking a mess. So I haven't got around to doing it, but I definitely will go live soon to tell you guys about all that crazy stuff. Um, but I've actually wanted to do this style since before my birthday. If you guys haven't already seen that video, then I will link it in the top right. But I actually got a similar style to this on my birthday. Birthday, and I have been meaning to try this style but I was so busy before my birthday and then the accident happened so I'm a little late to it but I'm super excited to show you guys and just to be doing hair again so I did start off by pre-parting my clients hair this is gonna make sure that my braids are symmetrical my parts are straight and it's also going to set my braids up to lay nice and flat on the nape of my clients neck because sometimes with straight backs um, you can run out of space back there so I always like to pre-part so the look that I'm going for is a very, very natural look with soft baby hairs, which is pretty much the viral look right now with these stitch braids. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. I am going to be feeding in a little bit of hair, but it's very, very little guys. I'm only feeding it in just to give it a little bit of length and thickness at the bottom so that um, her buns aren't super skinny. A lot of people have been asking me for a stitch braid tutorial, so I am going to talk you guys through what I did here. So after molding my client's hair in, typically I would part down the middle and stitch in from each side. But today what I did is I used my comb and I stitched all the way from one side to the other. This is going to help my stitches be a lot more symmetrical. And instead of pulling in from each side, I feel like this just was a little bit quicker. I have not tried to do this on super thick or coarse hair, so my client's hair is definitely a type 3, um, so it is a lot, like a little bit fine, but just like not really hard to get through. So I will definitely be trying this method on someone with a little bit thicker hair, but I definitely, definitely saw a difference in my stitches and the way that they lined up by taking my comb all the way through versus stitching from one side to the other. So that's the first tip that I would give you guys. So the times that you guys see me using my pinky on the other side, I'm actually not creating stitches. I'm just removing like little stray hairs that may have fallen into the braid. So like I said, I am taking my comb and I am stitching it all the way through from one side to the other. So a couple things about stitch braids is like you really need to be able to control the hair. So you really need to make sure that you are using a product and really molding that braid into where you want it to sit and lay. And also just make sure that no stray hairs are getting into your braid because that will really mess up the stitch. And I realized like it just takes a lot more time to do stitch braids. So like really just be patient and know that like you're not going to be able to achieve this style super quick if you want those stitches to be super neat and defined maybe over time but even when i do these it does take a lot longer and just a lot more detail and attention and making sure you're focusing on what you're actually doing but the product that i'm using today is actually um pure o neat braid and i will tag it in the description section below i really alternate between this evolving textures o gel and lock in um it's not even that i use it based off of different different textures is just honestly what I can get the quickest when I need it um, and sometimes like I know for a, a little period evolving textures was sold out so I had started using neat braid um, neat braid is also ten dollars cheaper so sometimes when I'm like I need a lot and I need it now then I go with that so yeah um, that's what I'm using to create this style and like I said I bounce between each of those I would definitely do an updated products I love video for you guys because I have not done one in a really really long time so I'll definitely get that out to you guys just bear with me guys I'm not working um, as much as I was so I'm just really trying to get back into the groove and not like stress my body out too much but I'll definitely do my best to get out those videos to you guys as quick as I can So I believe on this next braid here, you guys can definitely see a little better um, how I was stitching that. 
I do like using my pinky, but I like using the comb more. The thing about using your pinky fingernail is it is quicker and you can always put a nail on it just to make sure that you get a nice defined part. But honestly, guys, I just do not like having my nails done. Like, I hate getting fills. I hate going into the salon. I hate when you get to that point where you need a fill and it's snagging on the hair. Like, I just don't like it um and i do like to use my comb versus my natural pinky nail because i just feel like my stitches are a lot neater um so even though it takes longer i do like the outcome better so i'll do it like honestly when people are paying you or when i want my work to look a certain way i just cannot be lazy and so um if it takes a little more time then that's fine with me but you can definitely throw on a pinky nail and do your stitches with your pinky if that's you i know a lot of people use press-ons i actually had a subscriber make me some press-ons that i still haven't used yet i'm so sorry but i did receive them and i absolutely love them um so yeah you can always do press-ons also it's just me and nails y'all like i'm so rough with my hands i'm the type to get a full set and then literally like walk out the salon and open my car door and break a nail like i'm just so rough so it's not for me, um, but I literally love the way that my stitches turned out with this comb. So one thing to make this style look super neat that I'm trying to do right now is make sure that I'm lining my stitches up with the braid next to it. Um, sometimes this can be tricky depending on your client's hairline because a braid might start up further or further back. So when I started these feed in braids, I did try to make sure that I at least started them at the same point. And um, I did that just by pulling out a little more of her baby hairs that I am gonna trim. I know in my video, when I got my hair done, people were like, I can't believe she cut your baby hairs. Like, it's a thing, people do it. I do it all the time and this client does it too because y'all, we have big foreheads and like, I need something to decorate my forehead, period. Like, and I don't have, um, you know, those type of baby hairs, so I have to make them. And so you're taking out like so little of your hair that honestly, you won't even be able to tell um it's not like you're taking out you know like an inch of your hair in the front so you know it's not noticeable but that is a thing and i did do it for this client
so for my mousse, I am using the Browner Brothers Styling Foam, BB Foam, whatever it's called. This is actually one of my favorite mousses. And I'm going to go ahead and just tie that down. I just did really make sure that I did not get her, um, her edges in there because I'm going to go in and flat iron them. So I did dip these. I didn't get that on camera, but I'm going to show you guys how to make the bun. So I'm going to fold my client's hair up. It's kind of the same way that you would almost do a top knot. And I'm going to wrap the rest of those braids around the base. And I'm just making sure that it looks literally just like the bun next to it. So the same size and the same width and everything. And then I'm just going to wrap those braids around the top. And I realized I think that you couldn't see it because of that um, styling strip. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys again because I'm so fast panning and I want my sisters to learn, period. No. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wrap the bun. Yeah, I'm going to pull the bun up, like fold it in half and then just wrap the rest around the, the top of the bun. That's going to create like a little band where like, you know, when you get a ponytail and you put that little band around the ponytail, it's going to create that type of look just to make it look super cute. So now I am taking a baby flat iron and I'm just going to go ahead and flat iron my client's edges. And I'm just taking a little bit of edge control and lightly styling them and kind of leaving the natural curl in there from the uh, curling iron. That'll give you like that soft baby hair look. Now, if you put the edge control literally on the entire edge it's gonna give you like the regular baby hair look which there's nothing wrong with that but if you want them to look really soft and natural you want to try to keep as much product off of it as you can so the last thing that I'm going to do is go in and add these rhinestones and a lot of people have asked me about the rhinestones that I use and where I get them. Guys, these are literally just rhinestone stickers that I get off of Amazon. They are a little tricky to put on and the reason why is because honestly I have fat fingers and when I try to pick them off, literally half of them just fall. But um, I kind of just strategically place them. They come in different sizes and I will leave a link to the ones that I'm using in the description section. But I just thought that that added something cute to it or whatever and once I stick those on I do go ahead and use spritz and hairspray just so that they stick so guys here is my finished look she literally looks like a doll I absolutely love her hair if you guys are feeling this look let me know in the comment section down below because period I said oh baby I'm back back it's a sleigh I literally love this style it's been super viral lately and I just had to like try it you know um so yeah thank you guys so much for the love and support you guys always show me don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel so you guys can be notified every Every single time I post, you're going to go ahead and click the notification bell down below. Make sure it says all and not personalized. I know some of you guys say you don't get my notifications, so that will help you guys out. And as always, guys, I will catch you guys in my next video. Love you. What you mean you don't know Panna? She's dope. What you mean? 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 What you mean?